in the next. <laughs> Mender's Aura. Is that, that's the one you usually pick up, right? Yeah, you can have it, though. Sure. If you want to try it. I'll give it a go. Mm -hmm. yeah, I have that problem in a lot of roguelikes. The, the concept of, you know, dealing with a new boss that you've never fought before that just is immediately so aggressive you can't really learn his pattern and you die before you ever get the chance. Yeah. Yeah. Slowly regen. Ni minus six to every stat. Or every resistance. And then plus 36 to rot. See, that would be a great yep. thing to know where you're going. <laughs> if you knew where you were going, that could be amazing. Whoops. Hopefully that doesn't screw me over. <laughs> Did, I, you just well, no... <laughs> Did you just use the, <laughs> the dragon heart yeah. thing? I did. Hopefully it recharges. I, it usually recharges when you touch the crystal, so I, I think I'll be okay. Okay. Good. Otherwise, you know, handicap. I'll, I'll be yeah, fine. we needed a challenge. <laughs> 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 That's what we needed. I was just saying, this, this is too easy. Because, uh, you know, there's not the other difficulties after it, too. <laughs> it's somehow... I know. I know some other people that have been playing this, and one guy was like, yeah, uh, I hold the, the world record for, like, longest survival run, seven <laughs> hours. And I'm like, how? How? I, like, I do bet if, you're, if your pace is good enough, I would imagine it gets to the point where you could oh, potentially yeah. outscale the game and snowball. But I can see that. And also, if you fought every boss before it's probably a lot easier to fight them all it's just like that last guy was like hi i'm new you're dead bye yeah like you fell for my trap i didn't even see your trap <laughs> i never saw you just like I, I think it was just yeah he had like a fan attack that started on one side moved to the other and he had to dodge over it to the side but like yeah yeah it's just if you're not used to it you don't know the the tempo it's rough and so, yeah, uh, that's why you're supposed to play the single-player mode. The thing is, though, uh, it's, oh, I don't have the loot vacuum. I don't. I was waiting for the money to fly into me, and I'm like, why is it not? Why is it not doing the thing? Yeah. Last run. Oh. Oh come on. Yeah. Did you play much Dungreed or Nah? I have not, and it's been like on my short list of ones that everybody asks me to play and i and i want to play but like i don't know yeah i mean no no rush i don't even know if it's done yeah uh, the it's kinda... only reason why i bring it up is it had very light meta progression but you also got to keep one item yeah i like that uh, from one run to the next and that was actually really nice i like that because idea. some of the items were downright broken and it really gave you a leg up on the next run mm -hmm. i think it's the kind of thing where every time i think to play it i just don't have space for it oh so i'm just like hey you know there will probably be a time where it makes sense to jump in like an update or a one 1.0 i don't i yeah i don't even know if it's done i have no idea yeah i the one problem is it's a it's a korean made game so like they don't really communicate or like you know it's not like undermine where they're like really trying to tout their their 1.0 release or like you know you don't have a bunch of pr people knocking at the door being like hey did you know about atomic crops 1.0 yeah i've got like four uh, i think that one's maybe good for you i don't i already got two rings so mm. something to that extent uh, did you know I got about atomic crops i can now be the flasher <laughs> <laughs> oh there uh, you go <laughs> I haven't Ooh. had the chance to load it up yet, mainly because so many other things are happening. Minecraft yeah. Dungeons, yeah. Uh, Man Eater, Terraria. Yeah. Uh, I mean, this it's to all, it's a all lesser degree. Once. Like, yeah. I, like, back in January and February, I could have used, like, half of these. Releases. I know, right? I was, like, I was struggling to find things to fill my slots that were exciting. And now I'm, like, please slow down. Yeah, please stop. I need like, to I wanted to I, do I, Minecraft I, Dungeons. I, I wanted to do Minecraft Dungeons on my channel. I was like, I'm totally going to do it. And now I'm like, when do I have time to do it? It's pretty short. Yeah? I will say. Like, well, that's we good. beat it in one sitting yesterday in five hours. Hmm, okay. Is it meant to be replayed? 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If you uh, you played Diablo, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I played. I played mode, so much it's... Diablo. <laughs> yeah. It's when you beat the story mode. It's like here's the next difficulty level, and then you can keep going for oh, like okay. better loot. Okay. Which is, I mean, admittedly, the better loot is pretty fun. Uh, like they they definitely stacked all the good stuff later on. Uh, but if you want to just like do the story mode and then say eh, past that point, it's actually not bad. Otherwise, hmm. you could probably just say like Olsen boys uh, play tomorrow and just see who's available. I bet that would work. Yeah, perchance. Definitely. I mean, you I know that you have a schedule though. I have no. <laughs> you, you you have too much faith. Uh, Rhapsody and I record on Tuesday nights and we plan the schedule after we're done. <laughs> <laughs> wow it's it's not we ever and every week we say we should plan it uh no we should plan it sooner we say that every single week <laughs> but i'll bring it up but it, i think it's the kind of thing where like ping wouldn't work yeah oh hmm that's an interesting question how bad is the ping with rhapsody so bad so bad okay like Cause I, i've played with a lot of australians that have never had problems before but I, but I've also, uh, I've also got to the point where I'm also wondering if he just uses it as an excuse to say no to games he doesn't want to play. So <laughs> I can see that. So like, it'd be a great excuse, because like, there's a lot of there's a lot of games that I'm sure he just doesn't want to play that you can just oh, yeah. you know what ping I can't play that I can't play that the ping doesn't work. <laughs> I can also see it from like a content perspective of like he is the card game guy. Yeah, I mean, I don't think he wants to be. It's always an it's oh. always an interesting thing, where it's is that is that much of an issue for you, yes. for you with like Gungeon or yes, so much yes. I like, ironically, I would probably want to be the card game guy. <laughs> I like I huh. I actually I don't know like I it, it's a it's a, like a shoehorn feeling thing. Like I like yeah twin stick shooter roguelikes, but. I also like to take a moment and relax and not have to feel like I always have, you know, like I like to do a card game so I can have a few minutes to sit and think. Yeah, breather. Yeah. Yeah, De Demon Crawl is like so so oh, chill. Yeah. Yes. In comparison. Oh man, I can't wait. Huge expansion pack coming out. I am looking forward to that. I should probably play more of it. Yeah. I didn't make a custom thumbnail for it though. Like the default art that I just grabbed is not sufficient. It's kind of it's a hard one to do a thumbnail for. I know because I had the same issue. I'm, I'm, I like. What do you do to signify that the game's Minesweeper, but a rogue like in a thumbnail? <laughs> ah, yeah, people you, can guess it. If it looks good, it's fine. Oh, I'm. That's true. Juicer. I'm just staring at a guy. <laughs> Oops. But it's yeah, it's okay. Like I, I would honestly, what would I, what would I like if I could play anything I want? And I knew that the views would be the same. I'd probably play like Demon Crawl, Monster Train right now. Uh, some just some stuff more like that. I'd be playing Minecraft Dungeons. I'm sure. I'm, I'm all over the place with that. my genre taste though. Yeah, well, I mean, it's kind of important to have a wider variety of yes. genres that you're like kind of touching. I, uh, gosh. I mean, at this point, it was years ago. Whoops. I accidentally just picked up the loot trying to open the chest. What is the Ring of Shadows? Whoops. Well, good luck. I believe in you. Is that the the one that puts all the... <laughs> I'll take it off. Is that the... You can, we can try. We can try. I'll stand no, really far uh, back. <laughs> no. Well, maybe. It, it's the one that reduces enemy awareness, which would mean they just aggro oh, on okay. you instead. Which is... Uh, I ain't gonna do I can that. deal with it. I mean, they're, they're still hitting you, you. You do seem to be better at dodging than I am, so it's like maybe, <laughs> but I give me a game with iframes on the roll, and I feel at home. <laughs> like, oh man, I was I was playing a game called Jet Lancer recently, which yeah. is like loot thrusters, yeah. but with like more content and stuff, mm -hmm. and I really liked it. You can set your iframes like how big they are. Yeah. Uh, so I just cranked him up, and I just became the dodge wizard, and I was like, this is absolutely cheatsy business, but I would not have it any other way. Yeah. I just, I don't know. Oh. I like it when the game's, I like it when the game's balanced around iframes on the dodge roll. Yeah, just, I just wish I could set, like, how many I had, so it's like, this game is too hard for me. Increase iframes. Yeah. 
It, it seems like what a lot of your... more games are being made with that in mind, with that kind yeah, of I... more customizable accessibility options. I've noticed that Scourgebringer oh uh, was yeah. one that I got really into for like a week, and then I ran into content that was yeah. interesting to me. But like, that was one where it's just like you could just slow the game down, and it was amazing. Yeah. Because normally it was like actually just too fast for I guess my old man eyes. <laughs> It's also real flashy. It did like it yeah. took me it took me a couple runs for it to really click how the game is supposed to be because that it's all all dashy all. It was pretty hectic. I I had played their previous game Neurovoider a fair yeah. bit, so I was kind of I was kind of up to it. Just just Neurovoider, but with gravity and then some other things. Mm -hmm. I played a bit of Neurovoider was... too, but then it I got was... to the point with looping. <laughs> yeah, I liked Neurovoider. It did the cardinal sin for me, where it was a roguelike with all these cool mechanics, but no variety. Yep. Where yep. it's like, here's your big rocket launcher, here's your machine gun. And yeah. there was no, like... Give it a name, at least. There was no upgrades. To, yeah. Like, just make it more unique. Give it some, some flavor. Because, like, I always get really stuck on a roguelike where there's no interesting upgrades. Uh -oh. Um, oh, I think no. I actually have this problem with uh, oh, no. Undermine, which I'm sure... You okay? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> There's a big boy. <laughs> the, the harpoon launcher guy. Oh, I see him. Oh, God. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. He's rapid fire. Dang. Well, I deserve this. Yeah. <laughs> Um, <laughs> what do you mean? I got his attention. <laughs> I found him. <laughs> I just, there was a tome and I'm like, oh, I'll just grab it. Yeah. Uh, but no, I, I've actually been having that problem in uh, in Undermine that I love the game, but every run kind of feels the same because I haven't unlocked anything and the, oh. uh, the drop rate yeah. for like new blueprints is brutal. Yeah. Uh, I. And so... I think a lot like every of that. run I get Sonic Boom, Ricochet... And then the thing that sets your your pickaxe on fire. And yeah. then that's just kind of it. There's like a bunch of other things, but none of them really change. I find myself craving... Uh, craving like a Binding of Isaac. Like, just just give me Ipic Hack. There, there's a and maybe couple... that exists later on. Yeah, there's yeah. a couple of the newer items that are a little bit more wacky. But I think that the game has a problem that I think a lot of roguelikes forget to consider and i had this problem with atomicrops before recently is that they do have like a large sum of items but they forget that they give you more items than the average rogue like undermine you get so many items that even though it has like an impressive number of items if you're getting 60 percent of the items in the game every run the runs just gonna all feel exactly the same like, yeah, oh, you, 100%. You undermine, there's like two different runs you have in, in the base game. And that's why I like the roguelike mode as well, because you get less items, which makes them feel more special. And it's not just like, how do I get to the point where I have Keyblade and 99 keys? Or how do I get to the point where my I throw and it bounces around the room forever and it does everything? Huh, I found a harpoon guy. And he just stood there and let me kill him. Oh, man. Why didn't mine let me do that? <laughs> Shotgun. <laughs> yeah, that's that's actually a really interesting point, that the more items you get in a roguelike, the less variety you end up with. Yeah. Because, yeah, you just don't have a big enough pool. Yeah. So it's like you, they, they tout, you can tout the special number, like... See, uh, Binding of Isaac has... I mean, obviously, Binding of Isaac has... Honestly, Binding of Isaac has probably too many items. They, they've reached... It does. They've reached I, bloat. That's actually... <laughs> but, that, that is actually a, a problem I have with the game that I don't enjoy playing. Uh, Afterbirth plus 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 whatever the heck. Ah, uh, what? Yeah. Because uh, it's just like... I, I kind of wish I could just, after a certain point, exile certain items. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think I, I wish for that in more roguelikes. I, I started playing a, a weird kind of niche one called synthetic the other day yeah i saw uh, that i saw that one of it if, it if we finished playing this i actually would uh enjoy playing co-op with with you on that one because oh, it's it's yeah. very gungeon 
Can, well, I mean, yeah, no. I don't I mean, know. It's, it's an isometric shooter. It's, oh, it's closer Gungeon than this is. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm interested from the little bit I saw. Like, just stylistically, it seemed interesting. It's super like, good. I looked visually. at it, and visually, I feel like I had like haven't seen a game like it. And yeah, when when that happens in 2020, it it, it makes a mark in my brain. Yeah, that's that's important. And admittedly, that this came out years ago. I did like one video on it. I'm like, I want to play this co-op with somebody, and that was like the week sleep cycles stopped doing YouTube videos, and I was just like, oh well, never mind on that. <laughs> um. Because he was going to be the guy I bugged because I didn't know anybody else that played roguelikes. Mm -hmm. I figured it would be like right up his alley. And he's like, yeah, I'm done. And I'm like, ah, shit. Um, Is this the lightning boy again? Uh, I can neither confirm nor deny it's the lightning it's boy. The lightning. Here, wait, hold on. Let me let me enter the fog at the same time. There we go. Because otherwise I you start the fight and we don't. I don't get to come in. <laughs> there we go. Yep, there he is. <laughs> Did you see if my bullet actually was in the cutscene? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, oh great. Lightning boy again. Yeah, I'm gonna go die in the corner so you can resurrect me again. <laughs> uh, you've got a long. Yeah, this is way you've better. You've got a gun with a fair bit of range. Yeah. Yeah. Get get upstairs. Genius. Because unfortunately, I do not. I have a shotgun. Can he zap up here? He can zap up here! He can zap up there, but the chaser bolts the, do yeah. not come after you. That's good. It's just kind of hard to tell when you're zoomed in. When he's doing that lightning storm move, it's hard to tell. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I wish there was a better audio cue. Yeah. Or, like, it very overtly, ow. Or he just says something like, uh... Don't be shocked. Here it comes. You know, like one of those. <laughs> not actually, because none of these guys talk. But all those games that have the, the cheesy lines, like a, like an Overwatch Ultimate line. <laughs> yeah, I'd be down with that. Okay. I think it'd be, uh, it'd be goofy. I do not have enough to revive you, unfortunately. I apologize. I'm not dead. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying, please don't <laughs> die. <laughs> oh, okay. You just. I got gotcha. you. Oh, I just died. <laughs> Oh, I just died. Uh, oh my god! I cursed you. I'm you sorry. You cursed me. I was. I. <laughs> uh. <laughs> it was like I'm not planning on dying. Poof. So why did why did I even bring up synthetic? Uh, I don't. Oh right. That that game actually lets you say I don't want this item. Yes. Remove it from the pool or like reduce it from the pool. Monolith then, does that too, I, and I think it's such a good idea. Ah, uh, I haven't gotten to that part yet. Monolith is one of those where you have to like really grind to get all of the content out, which I understand. Wait, stop touching the crystal. This is a bad idea. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Oh wow, you are decked out from the from the beginning. Yeah, I'm um, <laughs> tactically no shirt, so I can look like a nightmare on a from uh, Soul Calibur on a beach day. <laughs> uh, let's see how much do I have? Just enough. Well, I'm good to go. Or I'm not. I forgot. Got to equip the gun, otherwise, why buy it? Uh, there we go. Uh, but yeah, so that game lets you control the pool, and I almost kind of wish we could do that with bosses in this. Like, if you could kind of see, yeah. I this game needs a slay the spire map, where you can you yeah. can see which zone you're going in and which. That's what we were talking about into. last time. I I think that yeah. Not we well first of all we I guess we said every every game needs a slay the spire map. I guess we said, but then I I think yeah I think this game would really benefit from it just. I, I don't know. There's there's some bosses that I think are just a little. Well, we've just seen the lightning boss and Buttman too much. Yeah. There are a lot more bosses than we've seen so far, and I'm actually a little surprised. 
Yeah. Maybe, maybe they don't show up until like later levels, but it's like it seems really weird that we've run into this guy like every time we've played. Yeah. Somebody said that it go. There's two world bo- or like world bosses, then one. Yeah, they're world bosses. Area boss? After... I don't know what it means, but that's what they said. <laughs> oh boy. Who likes street sharks? Oh boy. If you see any gun, I would love it because I'm using this starter one. Yeah. Yeah, I've just got the revolver. I'll, I I was realizing that the the last run I picked up uh, a couple of spare guns. I'm like, I actually don't know what Retro is using. Because I was just so used to you having stuff already. And it's like, oh, yeah. right. I actually have to share again. Yeah, I mean, I was I was pretty well off last time. last The last few times. This is the one time I kind of... I saw two pieces of armor of the same set. And I just wanted... I was like, this never happens. I had to. I had to. But it says, like, I'm still confused by the phrasing. When getting hit, damage is reduced. I got to there. Encumbrance is increased? What is that about? Oh, uh, fat rolling. Oh, okay. So, yeah, so, uh, if you're, if you're getting hit, your encumbrance is reduced. That means if you're taking too much fire, uh, you start light rolling. Okay. I think that's it. I think that's how it's supposed to be. What I'm trying to f- what I'm trying to figure out with it is if I get stronger when I get hit or if, or if I get weaker because it almost looks like I get weaker. Uh, like with movement speed. Oh, that's like I I think I get tankier, hmm. but I also get really really slow. I think. I could see that, which seems weird but interesting. It's an odd trade-off, not one I usually like going for. No. Eh. I don't know. It depends. There are definitely a lot of games where I'm just like, yeah, I will go full tank man. Uh, I will almost never sacrifice movement speed in any game, though. Like, just for, I, for like, sanity's sake, moving less than base movement speed, I think, psychologically messes me up. And it just makes me feel like I'm, sl- like, really playing a slog. Like, I just... Movement speed downs in general. Not, not usually... Not usually for him. I'll take it. I'll be tanky, but not at the expense of speed. I think it depends on the game and like what availability I, I have. So mm-hmm. like, I uh, at Dark Souls, I guess I'll go with that as an example. I will absolutely go for like a really heavy build in Dark Souls, if I can mm-hmm. block. And blocking is generally worthwhile. But I will not do so in like Dark Souls Three because blocking is considerably less useful in Dark Souls Three. Mm-hmm. Oh boy. But like in Gungeon? Oh gosh. Yeah. Definitely not in Gungeon. I've been playing with the modded. Somebody uh, made something that lets you basically play an Eden character. More more than the Paradox character. Like it actually changes all your stats. And then whenever, whenever I seem to roll, I'm always getting like a 20% movement speed penalty. And it makes me lose my mind. <laughs> yeah. Cause the- oh, that's... <laughs> Dodging in a bullet hell with 20% less movement yeah. speed is just, it's... <laughs> it's not fun. Anything that modifies my dodge roll beyond, like, a predictable amount. So, like, yeah. uh, well, Dark Souls, you got light roll, naked roll, I guess, fat roll, and kind of, like, I think there's, like, four flavors of rolling in that game, and it's super predictable which one you're going to have so you can get used to it. But if I'm playing a roguelike, and I get something that modifies my dodge roll... I'm suddenly, like, I'm, I lose my ability to dodge for that run because, you know, my rolling is off. And then the next run, too, because I've finally started getting used to the other roll. And then it's taken away from me because I've won or lost. And then it's just, like, time to get used to this again. Yeah. Like, even when it's beneficial, I, 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 I don't know. Because, the, like, the same thing. You can, you can get a, a dodge roll. You, you can either go further distance or shorter distance and also be faster or be slower and it's just like every single run the dodge roll is completely different i might i might move like one inch and it takes a full second and it's just like (laughs) that sounds like pain it's 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 a little pain but it's a challenge (laughs) it's a challenge to not scream (laughs) random question yeah do you have trouble playing two games of the same genre simultaneously? 
uh, playing them like well. I mean, I feel like I do a pretty good job. The issue comes when it's like with the minor intricacies of like the game systems. Like sometimes I'll get confused. Like, I'm playing multiple games where I'm trying, like, I'm scaling up the Ascensions at the same time. Both, like, Atomicrops and Blazing Beaks are, have the different difficulty levels. And I keep on getting make, it mixed up which things change in which, which one. Ooh. Yeah. But as far as, like, controlling, as long as they all, like, don't have, like, when I was playing Undermine, it's totally, it, it messes me up when I play that at the same time as Gungeon. Since it has a jump instead of a dodge roll. That feels really yep. weird. Other than that, not too much. I just... Every once in a while I get a period where I have, like, two souls likes to play simultaneously, and it's just brutal. Or, oh, like, two kind yeah. of Gungeon-style games, or... I would imagine uh, Dark like Souls. A, if I played Dark Souls right now and this at the same time, I think I think that would mess me up, yeah. Yeah. Oops. Get another gun? Uh, no. No gun yet. I, I wish. Oh, <laughs> I just got one. I just got one. I'll give you the Yay. next one. I didn't even realize it yeah, was a gun. I, I just saw I do not need a sidearm. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, you got your assault rifle. Yeah, I know. I was very happy. I didn't even have to buy oh. it. They just gave it right for me. I wish the character would like automatically lock onto crates and barrels. It's really hard to like punch them. Yeah. Because the character will just like swing a haymaker right over one. And it's like just just hit the box. Yeah. It's right there. There's nothing oh else God. for you to hit. The <laughs> roundhouse kick is so good. Yeah. Punch, punch, charge. The... It's really good. I I kind of wish. I kind of wish there was like more of an emphasis on unarmed combat in it. I, okay. Do we want to... No, it would probably be a terrible idea. I was going to say... Unarmed only run? <laughs> uh, maybe? If Could we have, be. like, ten minutes ever. You know. Yes, because that's, exa that's exactly how long the run will last. Because <laughs> I've, I've been doing that in Monster Train a little bit. Is like, uh... When I, when I was doing the, uh... Whoa, Whoa. Hammer Boy! Ow! Oh, no. I rolled, but he kept swinging. Oh my god. Not like this! Yeah, he is. He is rough. He sucks. Okay. Oh, you got him. Don't sound so surprised. Oh. He, he usually uh, takes more hits. You must have gotten him uh, gotten him pretty good. Uh, you should come back and grab the dragon charge. Oh, sure. If you get the chance. Yeah, I just saw a purple thing down here. Yep. Oh, there's one up here. Because reviving too. me costs one of those. Yeah, I got I got one down here. You can have that one if you need it. Nah, don't need it. Because I didn't get the chance to heal. I just died. <laughs> you th did he throw the hammer at your face? No, I rolled away, but it just was insufficient rollage. So yeah. like, I should have rolled past him. I. That's a lesson I need to learn. Uh, rolled through the attack as opposed to into it. I just what was yeah. like, oh right, I was playing uh, Minecraft Dungeons, and mm. you can't do that. The uh, the dodge roll in that game is actually kind of. Uh, let's see. No, you got pants. I got already. pants. Uh, the dodge roll in that game is kind of unsatisfying. So oh. like, I was fighting a big enemy, and you can't roll through the attack. It'll just like pivot and hit you, and it's oh, just like, oh, no. this sucks. Yeah. That's... And so I've been trained that the dodge roll is not good, and so yeah. I'm not using it today because. The dodge roll isn't good, even though, yes, it is the good. The dodge roll is amazing. Here's a shotgun if you want it. Oh, yes. Don't worry, I already took the I glutton. Just... I already took the glutton book. You don't have to <laughs> come over here and leave it for me. <laughs> I, I've i actually been intentionally picking up the, uh, <laughs> the pointed skill books ever since the first one. I'm just like, no, I'm... Could this be an I'm insult that I'm that... taking it? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, I made a friend. And he decided to go for you instead, which is great. Oh, made friends down here too. Uh, Chunky Screw Man. It. Uh oh. 
Okay, so melee on this guy is not the best. Uh oh. Hi. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. You okay? I mean, I don't know. She's pretty mad. I think you might be coming up the stairs. You're coming up to me. Okay. Yep, here well, he is. Yep. All right, jump, dive. Jump, dive. jump, jump, jump. <laughs> jump. <laughs> can he dive? Uh, something tells me he can do like a cannonball. Yep. There oh my god, that's so goofy looking. <laughs> well, because he died midway through. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Oh, there's a dragon heart up there. Okay, okay where's the uh, shotgun? That is a great question. I got... Oh, I see it. Okay, I see good. It. I'm glad. Th this place is maze-like. Yeah. This is terrible there for my go. bad direction sense. Oh. Uh, let's see. Anything else up in here? Nope. I missed that level that gave us all the cool loot. Yeah. Maybe I've been, I've been taking a little bit more on this one, so maybe that's why it doesn't yeah, look as cool. Yeah, but we haven't found, like, a billion chests. Yeah. That's that's my qualifier. It's like, are there, yeah. like, half a dozen chests? No? Hmm. Then it sucks. Yep. Oh, boy. oh no! Jump scared! <laughs> they and it. They're pretty, pretty jump scare esque. Yeah, I like them though. I like it's, them a lot. I think they're a good enemy. Yeah, because they're not actually that threatening, but when they first get you, they make me feel something. They are, <laughs> yeah. As opposed to most of the other enemies that are just like, hey, it's a thing to shoot. Yeah, I'm the one that has a helmet on. Archer, oh, look out! Broke. Uh, oh, Hammer Bro no! really is coming for you! Oh my god. I'm trying oh so hard to shoot god. this man in the sack. <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> you just like turn around and hit you at this with one swift motion. Yeah, and it, that's why I don't like the shotgun that much, because it's that, that really slow, like, um, reload where you're feeding all the shells back in. Yeah. There are very few games where I'm like willing to put for, uh, put up with that specific animation because there's nothing more frustrating than watching your character slowly feeding in uh, shells as you're like shoot the guy, shoot the guy, shoot the guy. Yeah. And the guy's like, no, 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 I gotta fill this up. It makes you feel helpless. Helpless. Here's a dragon yeah. heart for you. Or wait, no, it's whatever the hell. Uh, that's what a is that? Fragment. I think that's actually. Uh, I think we use those to unlock skins. Oh. Somehow. Yeah, apparently we have to like take those back with us to the uh, to some NPC in the like main game. Uh, but I don't know where that is. Oh shoot! When I'll you're... probably try and find it now that we have like a half half a dozen or more. Yeah, we probably have a lot more. <laughs> we just start playing next time. We all look like World of Warcraft characters yeah. with like glowy pauldrons and just insane garbage. Get the the paladin tier six. Ooh. Did you ever play much of that, or no, not really? I played so. <laughs> I don't think there's a game I put more time into. I it caused problems. Yeah. It caused problems. My entirety of high school, I was I took place in Azeroth. Yeah. I had similar experience, big boy. Oh. Oh. He, oh, he looks kind of sad. Now he looks really sad. Ow. That hurt. Uh, let's see. I I don't know if uh, me playing WoW caused that many problems growing up. I played a lot of it, but I also didn't have that many friends in high school. Yeah. Because uh, by I don't know. I had a lot of uh, I had a lot of female friends in high school. I hate saying that, but girlfriends has like a completely different connotation. Yeah. Uh. I get a lot of comments from people calling Shell uh, the female, and so it's driving me up the wall whenever I hear that word now. Um, Stupid. <laughs> yeah. Can you not play with a female? <laughs> what the it's so bad. Can, can, you, can you grow the hell up? Ding dong. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's wild. Oh uh, my but yeah, so God. I had a lot of, I had a lot of lady friends. 
in uh, in high school. And they all got into relationships the last two years and pretty much didn't have time for uh, like the friend group as a whole. So I went from very active social life to no friends period to uh, hero of Northrend. Mm. And that was fine. Yeah. It's a helmet if you need it. Uh, yeah, I actually yeah. kind of do. Yeah. It is Crapper Helmet. Oh, I would, boy. Like, I probably shouldn't. It didn't really. It it didn't ruin my life in any way. There was probably only like a couple months that I would say it was actually a problem, and the other like three years I think it was really. I think it was enriching because I played with friends and stuff, and I was like a, I was like a raid leader main tank. I think it's where I like, like I had no confidence, and then when, uh, you know, you're a, a teen and you get into a voice chat and you. You you lead people to a server first kill. You feel like a, a more yeah, confident boy. It was the top death knight on my server for Ooh. half a year, I think, for a while. And so that was really validating. Yeah. And then <laughs> I was like, I'm going to college in three months. I got to I gotta go cold turkey. Yeah. Which I feel kind of bad about because then I like lost all of my WoW friends and then I've never found any of them again. I'm like, oh. yeah, they're gone. I like, I, I wish, I wish I knew, I wish I knew where any of them were. But there was also like then like servers started merging and stuff. Or, or no, I'm thinking of it. Yeah. I played another one too. That happened in in World of Warcraft too. But I played another. There was another one where I was in like a top raiding guild. But I rift. I played that for a while. I had some friends in college that played Rift, but I, I like, I'd already done my time with WoW, and I'm like, yeah. I don't really know if I want to do that again anytime yeah. soon. Is this, is this Puke guy Beast? New? I think this is Puke Man. Oh, really? Yeah, this is Puke Man. Yep. Yay! Ready for this fight? Loot Pinata? I mean, <laughs> I see. I'm I'm scared because he was so jokingly easy. We made fun of him so much. Now I'm worried he's gonna pull out the big guns and do he's something gonna be that kills Man me. Round two. Yeah. He's gonna. That is a valid fear. Because then we look, we look like liars, and that's my uh, least favorite thing to be. I mean, I feel like the ads are the scarier thing here. Sort of, but there's like two of them. Yeah. Sorry, the ad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he is. He's doing something. Think, what is this? Yeah. Oh, we have to dodge that. Roll through it. Okay. Or if you stand on land, it's not a problem. <laughs> it's not on. It's not even a problem on land. <laughs> oh my god, puke man. Well, he's doing stuff I definitely never saw him do before. And he's done. Now he's back to doing this. Oh, you should probably take okay. that. I need handgun ammo if I want to hit him. Oh, he's getting kind of close now. Yeah. Up oh, and no. bye. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> bye. See you later, dude. Later, man. <laughs> you are a weird, weird guy. I feel like this map, this fight was designed without this land chunk in mind. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, but like, I, I fought him elsewhere, like standing over near that wall. All you'd have to do is just hop from one side to the other, and it also just rendered him completely ineffectual. So... In fact, in this boss fight, I've taken more damage from you. I know, that's what I was just about to say. Him, or anything else. <laughs> no. No. Sorry, I, I had to make it interesting. This is what he does. This is how he wins. <laughs> he makes us turn on each other. I'm trying to get my damage up on the charts at the end. <laughs> Friendly fire is still DPS. <laughs> Check the meters. Check the meters. <laughs> Five damage? Five damage. <laughs> I'm just, just, kill me I'm I'm just making... No, I'm trying to get... I'm min-maxing. <laughs> just putting me on the fleet again. Yeah. Oh. I'm min-maxing. I wouldn't kill you. <laughs> so, uh, on the on the topic of people like kind of disappearing, have you had to deal with that with uh, YouTube much, or is like Wholesome Boys kind of your first foray into large group stuff? Mm. 
I uh, there's one person I've ever made a video with that I never talked to again, but they never talked to me again either. And that was like seven, six or seven years ago. Other than that, no, not 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 yet. Oh, this is this is a trial. Got a beam rifle or Chicago typewriter? Oh no. I, it's got to be beam rifle. Tough choice. Yeah. What was the projects have five meter aura that moves with the caster enemies aside become corroded, which reduces their defense. Honestly, the mod seems better than the boss. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I, I I got a lot of money out of that. I just really feel like there's not a huge point in um, like even oops sorry. <laughs> it's fine. In uh, in getting the melee buy like buying a melee. Do you buy a melee? Do you find uh, it to be useful to purchase one? It depends on the melee. Uh, I'll buy this crap hammer. Maybe it'll let me break boxes better. Yeah. <laughs> That, that's that's why I go. buy a melee weapon. Does it have a bigger sweep so yeah. I can break boxes faster? Can I break two boxes instead of one? Yeah. Because that is, that is actually important to me. But yeah, as of, so as of now, no no fractures, nobody nobody left, nobody... nothing. Okay. I... Uh, I guess we've been in this, the same amount of time. I started with, uh... Like, I think within two weeks of me starting i joined a 10 person youtuber like collab group and yeah. did that for i think uh almost a year and it was so weird how they slowly all kind of went away yeah uh because it, it was this like very what is that? it was an eclectic mix of what was wrong and what like everybody dropped out for so like one uh, one girl transitioned and was too shy to, like, want to try and pick up uh, social connections with people from before mm -hmm. uh, because she wasn't, you know, sure how people were going to react. And so she just cut everybody off. And I was like, oh, okay, bye, I guess. Yeah. Um, one guy went on a bathroom break and never came back. <laughs> That was uh, that is the one I remember the most. We were playing what? Sniper Elite, and he's like, "Yeah, I gotta go to the bathroom. I'll be back." And what then, the like hell? five minutes later, we realized he wasn't in Teamspeak anymore, and it was just like, "Uh, that is where did he go?" <laughs> and he just didn't respond to like any messages. He or fell anything, into the toilet. Like, Nobody checked on him. Well, yeah, that that was the that was the running theory is that like he fell in and and never got out. He found a new world like Narnia. Via the toilet. <laughs> oh god, I don't want to go to that. <laughs> like there's some, there's something attractive about Narnia, but toilet Narnia. Mm. To toilet Narnia, no, 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 not so much. Okay, so this is the oh, other pit. guy. One guy went off to be a world famous uh, architect already. Like he's, I've seen articles with his name in it. And I'm just like, oh. that's so weird. Yeah. But he, he was effectively like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go to this, like, architecture conference. I've got an interview with so-and-so. And then he never came back. And then I just saw, like, a news article. And his name was, like, just on the design documents for this, like, big building in Dubai. And I'm like, oh, huh. cool. Well, there Good you go. You, dude. Yeah. And it's just, like, a, I, I have this massive list of people that I, I played with, like, a long time ago that have just kind of disappeared. Mm -hmm. Oh. But I think I've also been not overwhelmingly social, but, like, I try very hard to be super social for whatever reason on YouTube oh. and Twitch. Mm -hmm. And so, like, I think the last two years is the longest I went without, like, interacting with another human being apart from a vac <laughs> and shell. Mm -hmm. I, for, for a huge period of time, I did basically nothing. Like, I... I did a couple things with somebody like seven, between seven years ago to five years ago that there was like a huge gap until like a year and a half ago is when I started doing things. Rhapsody and Orbital Potato, we did we did something together for the first time. And then pretty much basically every week since since then, Rhapsody and I have been doing stuff. 
and then everybody else just kind of came after that. Yeah. I it is the magnetism of having a group is actually really incredible. Yeah. Like you really don't have to try to attract new people and after a certain point you have to be the bad guy and start saying, "Okay, this is too many. We got to like yeah. you know, start limiting this down because eight people on mic yelling all at once is bad." Yeah. Yeah. That is your grim future. Accept it. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> It's the kind of thing where it's like, ah, oh, cross the bridge when I come to it. I'll be, yeah. I'm not good at being mean. <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, it is. But I could, I probably could. I'm the, I, I led a raid guild when I was in my teens. Yeah, you got, you got the, you got, the, you got the experience. Experience. It's already on your resume. Yeah. It's just a matter of like pulling out the the dps meters and starting to point at it yeah which, you know, <laughs> the accusatory glare oh yeah oh. oops do not hop off that platform otherwise you are on your own that is uh now I i'm tempted style set. yeah is this the one what? where everything bl Hop like off. blends <laughs> yeah now i want it yeah, looks it, like it, fun yeah kind of whoa i am afraid of heights though I am terrified of heights. I cannot... Like, I can climb mountains, but if there's a cliff, I do not get near it. Yeah, no. It is just... It is not my thing. Nope. I can't go near... I can't, I can't walk near the uh, the ledge in the Mall of America. Yeah. Well, oh, yeah. Especially not since, uh, apparently... No, I don't... That's it's too grim to talk about. <laughs> oh. I, I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Probably. There was a big, there was a big thing we were, with it recently. Yeah, we were at uh, Grand Canyon. I think the week before somebody had like fallen off, so the caution tape was still there. Yeah, and it was just like, um, I will pass. The Grand Canyon is real neat. I yeah. will look at the brochure. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm in. I'm interested. I just don't have though. a whole lot of inclination to go back there either. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I like. I'm not super like. I'm confident in myself that I'm like not gonna fall off, but I am worried about some like weird person pushing me, bumping off. you, bumping yeah, me. Yeah, or... I can see that. Cause that's what... I get the call of the void real bad. Yeah, it's like man, like I could drive off the road. I don't feel like it, but like it creeps me out that I could. Yeah. And then it's stuck in your head for, like, way longer than you're comfortable yeah. with. Then you're like, and you get to the point where you're like, okay, well, if I truly have free will, I'll lift my my right hand right now. And then you have to do that. And I'm like, okay, that's good enough. <laughs> that's enough free will. I proved it. I don't need to jump off the road. Oh. I am lost. I jumped off a platform, and now I can't find the stairs back up to you. <laughs> Marco. I believe in you. Whoa, oh, my God. What is happening? Oh. Yeah, this tile set is you got, like, something. It's messy. I love the visual design of it because it's kind of just post-apocalyptic sci-fi world. Yeah, there's straight up like a death oh pit God. between you and me and Al. What? Oh. Where did all of these guys come from? I have no idea what's here. Oh, my God. That's interesting. Am I, like, stunned or something? What's... There's, like, a weird puppy mosquito with a gun tape to its back. Huh. Oh, <laughs> hey, I figured out where you are. And... Oh, I... I I'm coming. <laughs> oh, gosh. I hate It's this. like a weird tick dog. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I just... I hate it? Like, a lot? Yeah, I don't want to see that thing. Oh, hey. Oh, nice. Yay. Oh. Beautiful. Moment Whenever I play a game, if I can be the, like, a tank healer, I will do so. Mm -hmm. It is just, I never like relying on just the Estus Flask or the, like, whatever occasional healing item you pick up. It never feels good to me. Yeah. Am I going the wrong way? I have no idea. Yeah. 
Yeah, there's I bad boys over here, yeah, so I'm okay. pretty sure this is... Okay. I just got super lost, and there's just a death pit between me and elsewhere. Hi, Skull. You cannot shoot straight up in this game. That is really weird. Ah! Whoa! Hi! Whoa. There's a lot of skulls. I'm coming. I feel like there's somebody who summons it. them or something. No, they they float out of the death pits. Oh. Which is why there's so many of them, because yeah. they, they, like, hide down there normally. I am irradiated. And... Yeah. Well, I don't like them. I don't remember. Yeah. I, I don't mind the regular skulls as much, because maybe we will get friend skull after this. Mm -hmm. And, like, that would be real cool to have again, but... Uh, I don't like the irradiated skulls with the screaming. Yeah. Those are less fun. I had to wait to make sure that you weren't going to fall into a pit from that jump. <laughs> I let you go first. I let you be the, the taste tester. Yeah, I, I look before I leave most of the time. Talisman of animosity? you have any go idea what it. that is? Nope. Adventures goggles? You want those? Yes. No, no. I, they would fit my set bonus, but the cultist hat is more important. Okay. I just have passive mod power generation, so if we can actually get an ability that is worth something, uh, more than the corrosive aura, I can more or less. Uh, if you have the full cultist set plus like, the amulet I have and like one or two other things, you can just have a hundred percent uptime on almost any ability, Ooh. which is real nice. Yeah. Uh, so back in the base game, there's a. There's a rifle, I don't remember what it's called, but you get it from the Undying King, and it straight up just gives you a reincarnation ability mm. uh, that normally takes forever to charge. But I would pretty much just die and get back up again, and rarely had to be picked up by, by Shell when we were playing together, which was real nice. nice. Oh, it's this guy again. It's Ooh. the B-Boss. I'm coming. B- I- wait. We fought- uh, did we fight did this we? guy, or did I fight- Oh, I don't think maybe I not. I don't think I've this guy is him. easy. Okay, good. Okay, what do you do? He's just like the bee boss, or the, the regular bee enemies. Just don't shoot the hive, and then stay away from his sweep attacks. He's a little faster, I guess. That's the one thing. Whoops. Don't shoot the hive. Yeah, don't shoot the hive because that spits bees. And then other than that, he's actually a pretty basic melee fight, except for his like uh, minions that he summons. Oh. Whoops. That was you for a second. I apologize. It's okay. I think it was my fault. I just... I saw a dark shape, and it was low to the ground, and I'm like, it will die. Oh, God. He's got such a long arm. He does. I just roll through it. Yep. Oh, my goodness. There's when stuff all over the place. Hold on. I'm dying. Yeah, when it's when it's B time, just get behind cover. Don't even okay. like bother fighting him. Okay. Like this this is very much just a kind of take it slow. Don't worry about it too much. Because he never busts out anything that's actually spooky. Uh, let's see. Now you're full health. He's just. I think he's bugged in the wall. Oh no! He did. Oh. He heard me. <laughs> he heard me. He, he changed his mind. Ow. Okay, never mind. I lied about it not being threatening. Are you down? Oh, no. Yeah, I'm down. This ain't great. Oh. Oh, boy. Watch out for the bees. Yep. Oh, my God. Which ones? At what least, bees are you talking at about? Least <laughs> at least you friendly oh. fired the, the regular mob. Okay. You should uh, be good for, like, two seconds. I, I thought so, too, but... Ah! This ain't good, I said. Uh, don't even bother. Just. I. Oh, man. God, just he's solo got, him. He's got a lot of iframes. Oh, cool. I can kick your band players. <laughs> you gonna ban me? Uh, no. You ban me, I'm gonna go oh. to the bathroom and never come back. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Are you still technically alive? Uh, well, I'm I'm spectating you. I can even see where your camera's going, which is kind of fun. Oh no, I'm gonna make you sick. You have a very <laughs> you have a very sensitive mouse. 
And I thought I had a sensitive mouse. Well, I guess I've got butterscotch cookies, so I will just partake while oh, you... Man, you get butterscotch cookies? I gotta fight bees? This <laughs> is not fair at all. Punch bees, man. I know you can do it. What have I done? I don't uh, like this. Well, you're you're doing fine. But have you heard how I don't like it? <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Remember, you also uh, you also have that number four like blood vial thing that you can pull out. Oh. Oops. So now that you're out of regular heals, yeah, you have one more. Oops, that was not a good choice. Good. Man, I didn't want to be a gamer today. Just wanted to relax. Oh. Where even is it? Oh. You get that when you get to uh, when you get to play with Red. Uh, I was gonna say with Retro, but you're Retro. <laughs> you get <laughs> that me. when you play with Rhapsody. Oh God. Oh no. Oh this no. Oh no! This is really too many people for one man! <laughs> yeah. The ads are the the worst part of like any boss fight. Yeah. Oh my god. They're relentless. Yeah. Very much so. Yikes. <laughs> friendly fire damage dealt. I beat you. In friendly fire damage. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even I didn't need, know that that was even on there. I I appreciate that there is a meter so you can be like, <laughs> why did I die? Why does that person yeah. have so much friendly fire? Yeah.